Hey guys, it's Hunter Throw Seven. Now I usually pick make Grotopia Let's Plays, but today I'm gonna teach you how to download Google Earth. Now this is a pain in the butt for me because I was using Safari. As you can see here, I got Safari up, and it wasn't working for me. Now the way I did it is I used Google Chrome, and I had Google Chrome, and I I don't like Google Chrome, but I had it on my laptop when I first got it, so I opened it up, and it's better to use it. So I'm going to go to um, look up Google Earth on your Google Chrome. Because for me, it didn't work on Safari. It might work for you on your Safari, but it didn't work for me. So here, here's the Google Earth download. Now I'm going to click Agree and Download. And it's going to say, okay, thank you, whatever. And down here in the bottom of your Google Earth, or if you're using Safari and if it works for you, it'll be up here in the downloads bar anyway. So this is going to take like 10 minutes, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, my download is almost done. Here, where's my downloads? Right here. And it's right here, and it's almost done. Okay. Two more millibytes in magic, and we've got it downloaded. Now, it depends on your Wi-Fi speed. This could take two minutes for you. For me, it takes like ten. Because I live in the country. I don't live in the city with Rogers or Bell or anything. I've got a wireless network over a satellite. So, this is going to take a while for me. Not a hub or something. That's really fast. And we're almost done. Forty-two zero. I'm almost there. Almost there. Point three. Point four. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. We're done now. Let's go. Okay. So you're gonna open this up. It's gonna verify. Here's your Google Earth. You can drag, don't use this. Do not use your Google plugin. You can drag this to your hard drive. Honestly, I just drag mine to my desktop. There. Yeah, I'm just going to replace it because I already have it. I'm just teaching you guys how to do this. And it'll say copying to my desktop. And there. So now it's on your desktop. And this is how it works. I'm going to go into Google Chrome, I'm at Google Earth, and click open. It's going to say, do you want to open this? It's from the internet. Just say open, all right? It's just the easiest way to do this. So it opens up, and and there's a really cool thing that I just learned with Google Earth. So I'm on the Earth right now. I'm going to search up um, Tor on to o -N. So I'm going to Toronto. And I'm going to stop right there. Actually, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to turn this off. I don't like tool guard. Okay, you're going to go up to your tools, and then you're going to click Enter Flight Simulator. And that's the cool thing I just learned. You can fly it like an airplane right here. So you can pick your airplane, or you can take off from an airport. I don't care. Now, I'm going to click. I'm going to pick the flight jet, and I'm going to click Start Flight. And I can actually fly my airplane. Anyway, so that's not the topic. So now you're on Google Earth, you can do whatever you want, alright? And that's how you download Google Earth.